Yamaha presents The Whitetail Diaries, chronicling hunting adventures of the most plentiful and intelligent big game animal in North America. Join top whitetail hunters nationwide. Embark on the amazing adventure that is hunting the whitetail deer. It's the holiday season out at the old Whitetail Diaries Deer Camp, and time for our favorite hunt of the year, the annual youth hunt. It goes without saying that hunting with kids is, is something that's a passion for anybody that enjoys the outdoors. You know, going out, whether it's, it's your child, a friend's child, or a relative, it's just something that's always really rewarding because you're generally taking somebody that has not had the experience that you have out in the outdoors, showing it to them for the first time, and you can see the excitement and wonderment in their eyes when you go do those types of activities. Let's meet our young hunters, starting with Whitetail Diaries veterans, Jack Gartner and Hunter Shawd, who are venturing into a world of bow hunting. When you look at a, a kid as he evolves in the outdoors, um, they begin to find their own passions. They begin to find their own way that they like to hunt. You know, they came down, took their first deer, and now they've evolved to where they've taken bucks, and now they begin to pick up, you know, traditional archery hunting, and, and you can see they, they want to, they're like little sponges. They want to learn it all, they want to see it all, and they have evolved to where it's no longer about making sure they get one, it's about the hunt itself. It's kind of become a annual affair for us. I think this is our fifth year uh, coming down for father-son hunting. Hunter and I have been coming down and, and uh, it, every year it's a great time. Hunter's been really lucky and has learned a lot of things, met a lot of people. Uh, on the upsides, actually taking an animal each year that he's been down here as well. Jack, for the first time he came out here, he was <laughs> he was barely old enough to, to hold a rifle for any length of time. But he's, he's always shown you know, a great deal of patience for a kid that age and a great deal of of determination and you know I'm really proud of him. Jack and Ted have had three hunts out in the field and Jack is learning the trials and tribulations of hunting with a bow. While they've seen lots of deer activity, the clock is ticking as they head out for their final hunt. Jack, well, it's put up or shut up time. Yeah, it's our last hunt, but we're gonna go back to we hunted, where we hunted the first evening. Yeah. There are a lot of deer there, so I just we, hope we'll have some luck. We saw a ton of deer and the rain stopped. I'm guessing they're going to be out in full force trying to fill their bellies. So yep. we'll see what we can do. All right. Let's hop in the Viking and go. Okay. This morning, we, I mean, they just didn't come in close enough, or they would come in close, and I'd get ready to draw, and then they'd spook. I mean, weather has messed up, and they were spooky. It, it was a tough hunt. Well, Jack, what'd you think? Well, I mean, it's kind of a bummer, but. Uh, bow hunting's a little bit of a different animal than hunting with yeah, a high-powered yeah. rifle, isn't it? When they get that close, you really gotta be careful. I still had a lot of fun with you, and it was a uh, it was a fun time, and there's always next time, right? Yeah, I had a great time. We'll keep you coming back for more, all right? You bet. When Whitetail Diaries returns, we meet the rest of the young guns. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you in part by Yamaha ATVs and side by sides, real world tough. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Garmin, the power of simple. And by Smith & Wesson, made in the USA since 1852. The Yamaha Viking and introducing the all new Viking 6. The hardest working, most off-road capable side-by-sides in America. 
built for the hardest working people on earth. You. Julie Golaski, Smith & Wesson Consumer Program Manager and World Champion Shooter. Joe Zanetti, Smith & Wesson Finishing Specialist and Lifelong Hunter. Jim Dalton, Smith & Wesson Master Gunsmith. I shoot competitively and so does my son. Our people, our products, our passion. Smith & Wesson. What if there was a camera that went where you went and shot what you shot? An action camera so easy to use you can concentrate on your hunt, not the hunt for the record button. A camera that let you add dimensions to your video, like speed, altitude, or even your heart rate, just before you let it fly. Life. Camera. Action. The Verb Elite HD Action Camera from Garmin. The Arctic Ice Tundra Series, capable of keeping your food frozen all day long. The Tundra Series is a portable, safe, and reusable alternative ideally suited to replace dry ice. Keep your food as frozen as the Tundra with the Tundra Series from Arctic Ice. Hey guys, we're here with the uh, Bubble Blade Hunting Knife. It's a great new piece of steel from Bubble Blade. You can use it as a long knife, cutting or, or uh, deboning type knife. You can shorten it up for more your more delicate skinning type work when you're uh, processing uh, deer, cog, whatever you've killed that day. And the best thing about it is this is a no slip grip. No matter how wet or greasy a sucker gets, you're not going to slip on this blade. It is razor sharp. It's the cure-all for knives. I mean it really is. Whether it's deer, fish, I mean I've I don't know how many fish I've flayed with one of these. I carry one in my boat. I carry one in my backpack. I mean, everywhere I go, if it's gonna have to do with the outdoors, I've got a bubble blade. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. For me, one of my favorite things every year is, uh, you know, around the holidays, we kind of host a youth hunt out at the ranch, and we'll have a lot of different kids come in. Uh, some of them will be their first time, some of them have been there several times, and the whole experience is to show them and share with them what we enjoy about the outdoors. It no longer becomes about the adults having success, it becomes about making sure those kids have uh, their first experience or, or one that they've done for several times. Well, let's head out in the field with Hunter Shod, who's hoping to get a chance to draw back his bow on a buck. What we were trying to do with Hunter, uh, you know, he was trying to shoot a, a buck for the first time with a bow. The year before, he had been fortunate enough to knock down a doe with bow, and uh, now he wanted to grow up and, and shoot a buck. That's a natural progression of things with his bow. So we put him in the killing tree. There have been quite a few good, good deer coming in there, but. You know, when you're trying to hunt for the first time out of an elevated stand with a bow, you've got to learn the things that happen. You've got to evolve with it and experience those things. And old Hunter, he's a pretty quick student and it uh, didn't take him long to really get into that moment. We were uh, about to shoot a doe and then um, that buck started to walk in and it walked in at exactly 21. And then it came a little closer at 20 and I shot him at 20. It was awesome. Uh, you know, in fact, in this particular, this is the first time the hunter's actually hunted by himself. A storybook, I guess, hunting career again, because we didn't find him last night, but this morning, walked right up to him. It's awesome. 
Congratulations, Hunter, on his first buck with a bow. New to deer camp this year is Colin Rivera, who just happens to be Wade's stepson and no stranger to the outdoors. When it comes to introducing youth to hunting, I'm a guy that believes that you, you get them into it in whatever manner that they want. Uh, handguns, shotguns, rifles, crossbows, traditional bows, uh, you know, what do they want to hunt and make the opportunity available to them. And uh, when it came to Colin, uh, you know, we mentioned to him, hey, would you like to hunt with a crossbow? And he thought that was really cool. He immediately jumped on it and thought that was going to be a neat opportunity and began to study and begin to learn more about them. And we got a crossbow in from 10 Point and actually built the crossbow. And then he went out and practiced with it. He went out and set the scope and learned how to, how to shoot it. And we had a particular stand that there was quite a few deer coming in on the scouting cameras down this one particular little draw. Uh, it was a tripod, we got him set up in there, and a cold front blew in about the time that uh, Colin got up there, and he looked like he'd about half froze, but there was one thing about it, he was not going to give up the opportunity to continue to hunt, no matter how cold it was. It was really windy and cold, and I was about ready to get out of my blind at about 5.30, but at 5.20, uh, I saw this deer, this eight point, and he was real comfortable uh, following a few does. You know, the, several deer were kind of coming to this natural pinch point that goes into a food plot. And eventually, one of them made the mistake of standing still a little bit too long. It's exhilarating having to stay, well, as far as bow hunting goes, because this is new for me having to stay really quiet, real still, and you're real up close and personal, it's, I mean, it's pretty amazing how they can get about 30 yards from your barn without them knowing. Colin is confident that his buck is down, but after a long track that led into the night, the team decides to wait till the morning to continue their search. The Whitetail Diaries crew has called in a tracking dog and with the help of the Garmin Astro tracking system, well, it's not long till they finally get eyes on Colin's buck. Dang. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> uh, I'm excited now. Perfect shot. It's a really good feeling. I love, you know, feeling accomplished and feeling like I made a good shot and finally finding it after so many hours of work. Well, that was another successful entry in the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Oh, but we're not done there. When we return, three boys get the Christmas surprise of a lifetime. If you'd like to keep up with the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries crew, see some of the behind the scenes action as well as be eligible to win some of the prizes such as the gear we use in the field, it's simple. Go to our Facebook page and give us a like and one lucky person each year will join us in the field for a great hunt. When you change the game, you make the rules. Introducing the all new Stealth SS from 10 Point, the most compact crossbow we've ever created. 10 Point, there is no substitute. After your next successful deer hunt, savor the flavor with a Bradley Smoker. They have a whole list of creative recipes for venison with a wide variety of delicious smoky wood flavors. Find out more about making your meal as memorable as the hunt at bradleysmoker.com. Experience High Viz, a brighter sight, better than standard sights, giving you an immediate, more successful shooting performance. High Viz lets you see a dramatic contrast between the target and the barrel for a more intuitive aim that delivers instant results. Our light pipes come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, designed to be seen in a variety of conditions. With our broad line of sights, you'll see your marksmanship dramatically improve, bringing more fun and confidence into every shooting experience. Shoot more accurately. Enjoy the sport. Choose High Viz.
when you pack your cooler for a barbecue or even a tailgate party, be sure to pack it with Chillin' Brew, powered by Arctic Ice. Chillin' Brew in a cooler can keep beer at the perfect drinking temperature longer than ice. Grab some brews and Chillin' Brew today. When it comes to racing big deer, Purina is the leader in deer nutrition research. Our Antler Max research and development team is committed to developing products that provide results in your deer management program with a difference you can see. If you're ready to take your deer operation to the next level, look no further than Purina's new and improved Antler Max Premium Deer Feeds. You can find them at your local Purina retailer. Purina Antler Max Premium Deer Feed, a difference you can see. Since 1976, Delta Ag has been an industry leader in plant health and nutrition. With our innovative concept and chemistry, Delta Ag produces healthier crops and improves yields. We formulate biostimulants and micronutrients designed to improve fertilizer efficiency and increase crop response to nutrients. Make your fertilizer go further with reliable products that work. Grow healthier crops from the ground up with versatile low-rate products. Delta Ag, improving plant performance. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries, brought to you in part by Stealth Cam Scouting Cameras. It's all about the hunt. High Viz Shooting Systems. See what you've been missing. Thompson Center Arms, America's master gun maker. Frog Togs, stop the rain. Angle Coolers, a legend in reliability. Wade Middleton and the Whitetail Diaries crew are hosting the annual Holiday Youth Hunt. We usually eat really good and hunt and um, hang out, watch football. It's just fun to come down here with just my dad. Hunting with my dad, we always have a great time hunting with each other and it's fun to have somebody to share those memories with. You, you know, I, I thought about it this year, uh, as busy as we are, that you know maybe this was a year to take a break and do something like that. And I really got thinking about it, that he's 13 this year, and knowing how boys are, how I was, it won't be too awful long before he's gonna find something else that he's gonna wanna do, and maybe not wanna do the father-son trip. But I see this being a lifelong thing that we can do together, and that'll always mean something to us. Well, we've seen some great hunts so far from the kids, and Cabela's Lee Dolan has just arrived after surprising his three boys with an extra special first-time whitetail hunt. We had the opportunity to bring my three boys down here. For Christmas, we gave them each X-Bolt 270 Browning rifles. I had them each engraved. Brought down my three boys, who are 17, 15, and 12. They had never gone deer hunting before, and I wanted them to learn from somebody who uh, knew how to hunt better than me. Before we got here, um we knew nothing about it. And then he told us the day before Christmas and then we had to like start trying on camo, making sure it all fit, going to Cabela's, getting more stuff. This is a lot of fun, it's really special to me. I mean, this is a really good experience where I've learned a lot. I mean, it's my first time ever hunting and it just gives me, it introduces me to the sport and all the things associated with it. The first priority for these new hunters is an intensive program on gun safety with Wade and the crew to not only ensure gun accuracy, but to allow the boys to get comfortable with their artillery. A lot of guys you'll see they'll go sighting their gun and they'll settle on less than perfect. Well, less than perfect on a bench is gonna magnify the mistakes that can happen in the field. Each of the boys will have a chance at both a doe and a buck if the opportunity's presented. Our youngest hunter from the Dolan clan was Patrick, who's having a rough start to his first few hunts. Well, it started off kind of slow. I saw two does, but they weren't shootable for the first two hunts. And then, so that sort of discouraged me. But then I saw a lot on the third, the third hunt that we went on. So that sort of got my spirits back up. Now, even though Patrick hasn't gotten his harvest yet, he's showing great focus, determination, and patience. We'll meet back up with Patrick later, but first, there's always one hunter at every hunt who goes out and has eyes on a shooter right away. And for the Dolans, that was middle son, Alec Joseph, also known as AJ. Well, my first hunt, we were on the ground. We were both sitting in these just foldable chairs, and we waited three, three hours or so. There was only two deer that came. One came actually from behind us, which was surprising and he just kind of walked in front of her and I just took the shot. You can 
hit him hard, dude. Hit him hard. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect. I mean, I've never been hunting before. I've never done anything like this, so it it was really good. And I, I expected just to come down here and see what it was like, and that this experience filled filled those expectations. For my second hunt, we were all in a uh, blind. It was my dad and me. We there was a lot of deer there, and they all just kind of rummaged around. There was some doe and some bucks that played around. And there was this one doe, she just got chased over by another doe. And so she lined up broadside and I just took the shot. She didn't move. That boy, he, he lined up for that shot. One shot, boom, that, that doe dropped. Didn't move a foot. Boy, I'll tell you, you didn't get her in the lungs or anything. That is a good vital shot right there. Oh, great shot. Oldest son Luke Dolan has had a lesson in patience on his first afternoon hunt, but now it's the second morning, and he's got an eight point in the crosshairs of his new rifle. Another eight pointer came in, different one. He was a little bit bigger, and then Wade kind of gave me the go ahead, and whenever I was ready, so I kind of just took a deep breath, uh, took a breath out, and pulled the trigger. was probably the most intense outdoors experience I've ever had. It was, it was fun. I mean, uh, definitely a lot of preparation for it. And uh, I didn't really know what to expect, but it was a lot of fun. Oh, I couldn't be more proud. The fact of the matter is uh, these boys got to learn a valuable lesson and they respect for those animals. And that's pretty cool. When we come back, the Dolan's hunts continue, and Patrick gets his chance in the limelight. When I'm not hunting, I'm thinking about hunting. It's on my mind because it's in my blood. When the hunt calls, my TC Venture points the way. Accurate, reliable, proven. Until there's no more ground to cover and no more stories to tell. When you're a TC Venture Hunter, the hunt never ends. Since 1996, Frog Togs Outerwear have kept outdoorsmen warm and dry, even in the worst of conditions. Now, Frog Togs have expanded beyond hunting and fishing markets and revolutionized the industry with their patented fabric system. Frog Togs are extremely lightweight and portable. They pack easily in your car, boat, RV, and even on your motorcycle. Best of all, Frog Togs are 100% waterproof and windproof, and yet extremely breathable. Check us out online at frogtogs.com. Frog Togs, stop the rain. Stealth Cam gives you the edge on the most elusive bugs. Capture high-res stills, HD audio and video, or time-lapse imagery. Nothing escapes our sub-one-second trigger with our advanced multi-zone detection grid. With our energy-efficient design, one set of batteries will last up to a full year. Retina low-light sensitivity captures stunning nighttime imagery out to 100 feet. Get all the latest technology in our new G-Series of scouting cameras. The next generation of Stealth Cam has arrived, delivering technologies you need every hunting season. After all my years of searching, I finally busted the method I had it. The Angle High Performance Cooler, it's incredible. Just look at this lid, what a powerhouse. It's so freaking strong, so reliable. I just wanna boom. This silicone gasket's better than rubber. Why, hello there. Are your base and sidewalls way thicker for superior insulation? Oh yes, after 10 days, still cold, still fresh. Let's hear Yeti do that. With Angle Coolers, it's official. The Yeti is busted. When you change the game, you make the rules. Introducing the all-new Vapor from 10 Point, the most technologically advanced crossbow ever created. 10 Point, there is no substitute. After your next successful hog hunt, savor the flavor with a Bradley Smoker. They have a whole list of creative recipes dedicated to pork with a wide variety of delicious smoky wood flavors. Find out more about making your meal as memorable as the hunt at bradleysmoker.com. The Alaskan Series Cooler Packs by Arctic Ice. Specifically designed to keep your food and drinks cold all day long without having to use ice and end up with a soggy lunch. The Alaskan Series by Arctic Ice. Bitterly cold. 
Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries Deer Camp for the annual Holiday Youth Hunt. Cabela's Lee Dolan has surprised his three boys with brand new rifles and an opportunity at their very first whitetail harvests. So far, Luke and A.J. Dolan have taken one buck and now one doe each, and youngest boy Patrick, well, has displayed the ultimate hunting skill. Yeah, patience. I've learned that you have to be really patient. Like, it's not gonna come up, go broadside for you just instantly, you have to wait for it. But it's really fun for my first time. And then today was definitely the most exciting day of the week. And there was 20 deer out there, and then there's some to my right, some right in front of me. So that sort of made things difficult to look around. And then we waited until like they started thinning out because you couldn't take a shot without hitting one behind it, which isn't a good idea. And that this one doe, like, it was pretty big and old, and it finally got by itself, and then I was just told to take the shot, and then I did. Uh, it's pretty special. Like this is probably one of like a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like your first time hunting, being like with a lot of cool people who are like smart. And then it's pretty cool to be with my dad and brothers to be like familiar with some people. So you're not like going to total strangers. So that's pretty cool. After a successful doe kill, it's the afternoon and final hunt for Patrick, and he's calm, cool, and collected for what's about to go down. It was pretty uneventful, you could say. It was, we were just getting out there. We haven't been there for a while. And, and just one buck showed up and it just came through the brush for 20 minutes. It was just in the brush where you could kind of see it, but it wasn't like uh, a good spot to shoot. But then it just sort of had its own idea and just sort of walked around, didn't get any of the corn on the ground. And then uh, it turned, so it was tilting, uh, turning away from me a little bit, but it was still a good shot, so then I took it. Oh, I hit him. I know I got him. I know I got him. Man, just spending three or four days with these kids, while they learn and I learn, is fantastic. I had a lot of confidence in those guys. They know how to safely handle a firearm, um, which was pretty neat. Um, they took it seriously. And even though it's fun, it's also real world. Um, they were quiet, they enjoyed themselves. You guys really made this a special experience. I get asked a lot about how to be successful in hunting and, and what to do and where to go and, and you know my, my comments are always you know get out and experience it, get out and enjoy it but for a first time hunter be it youth or, or anyone that can be intimidating and you know and in those cases it's finding a mentor finding somebody that's got the patience and is willing to give up the time that's always something that I encourage people to do when they when they get a chance is to take somebody out hunting for the first time be it's their kids their neighbors kids or family's kids whoever it may be, or even an adult, so that they can begin to pass on the heritage and the excitement of hunting, because I can tell you one of my favorite weeks all year long is the youth hunt out at our camp. Well, that was another successful entry in the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. All the kids in the field showed focus, patience, and determination, all while having a great time outdoors. Thanks for joining us. Join us next week, won't you, for another exciting entry in the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. If you'd like to keep up with the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries crew, see some of the behind the scenes action, as well as be eligible to win some of the prizes, such as the gear we use in the field, it's simple. Go to our Facebook page and give us a like, and one lucky person each year will join us in the field for a great hunt. Oh, and I forgot the Oklahoma game was on, and. Wade and uh, Jeff were just crazy. You couldn't, you couldn't go to bed. There was just too much yelling. Save it. Not to you. <laughs>